everybody, and welcome to day four of the uh, Mental Health Novena, the nine days of prayer for mental health. Uh, I'm so glad that you decided to join me, and um, what I would like to do is uh, we're going to pray, and then we're going to sing a song. Uh, so uh, before we begin today, uh, just think about your intentions for uh, this, this special day of prayer, day four. And the theme for today's uh, Novena is there is hope even when you don't feel it. So there's always hope, even when you don't feel it. So, let's begin together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And uh, what I'd like to do is we're going to sing a song first. We're going to sing Peace is Flowing Like a River. <laughs> Thank you. 
his arms he'll take and cheer. Love will find a solace there. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. All because we do not care. Jesus, grant me the peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended you. I detest all, all my sins and I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because I offended you, oh my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love, I firmly resolve with the help of your grace to confess my sins and to do penance and to amend my life. And let's pray this prayer ten times. It says, O oh, Jesus, grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. Let's pray together. O oh, Jesus, grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. O oh, Jesus, grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. O oh, Jesus, grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. O oh, Jesus, grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. O oh, Jesus, grant me peace of mind. Jesus, grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. Oh, Jesus, grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. Oh, Jesus, grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. The last time, the tenth time. Oh, Jesus, grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. So let's pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the fruit of faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the word is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. For the fruit of hope, hail Mary, full of the word is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And for the fruit of charity or love, hail Mary, full of grace, the word is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let's pray. Pray, glory be, glory be to the Father. Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. And today's theme for day four of the uh, St. Dymphna Novena for Mental Health is there is hope even when you don't feel it. So there is hope. There's always hope. And today's reflection is there is hope even when you don't feel it. There is still work being done on your behalf. Good things are still possible. Scripture offers many reminders of hope for those of us feeling disconnected and hopeless at the moment. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope for who hopes for who hopes what is seen. But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. And that's from Romans chapter 8, 24 to 25. Okay, I'll read that again. For in hope we were saved. Hope that is seen is not hope, for who hopes for what is seen? If we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. And let's pray together. Oh God, we humbly beseech you through your servant, Saint Dimitri, who sealed with her blood the love she bore you, to grant your 
relief to those who suffer from mental afflictions and nervous disorders, especially you know, uh, let your intentions out louder in the silence of your heart. We graciously chose Saint Infinite as patroness of those afflicted with mental and emotional illnesses. She is an inspiration and a symbol of charity to all who ask for her intercession. Grant to the prayers of this pure and youthful martyr consolation and healing to all who suffer such trials. I beg you, Lord, to hear the prayers of Saint Infinite on my behalf. Grant me patience, suffering, and acceptance of your divine will. Fill my heart with hope and grant me the relief and strength I so much desire. I ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. St. Dimpna, helper of the mentally afflicted, pray for us. And uh, before we do our, our concluding prayer, I just want to note that uh, if you're just tuning in today for day four, uh, I've done the three other days. Uh, you just scroll down on my page and you'll see the three other days. Uh, I did them on the YouTube. Uh, today I'm a little running late getting this out here today uh, because uh, the church obligations and everything, so I decided to just do it live. So, uh, if you'd like to catch up on the three other days, they are on my page, and you're welcome to play along with them. Um, and I want to encourage you to share this with, with friends or, or family members that you think would really need this. Um, I think our world is in a, in a troubled place right now. Uh, a lot of people are suffering from mental uh, anguish uh, and are longing for peace. So, uh, we really, we really need prayer, and uh, it's, it's great uh, always to pray. It's never a waste to pray. So, uh, at any rate, uh, so share this with your friends, your family members, and uh, that will be very good. So, let's pray together our concluding prayer. It says here in Psalms, uh, chapter 34, 18 through 20, it says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Loving God, you are always near to us, especially when we are weak and suffering. Reach, reach out to those who experience mental illness. Lift their burdens, calm their anxieties, and quiet their fears. Surround them with your healing presence that they may know that they are not alone. And we ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to sing a closing song, one of my favorites, uh, Because He Lives. And I love, I love the refrain to this. It says, Because He Lives, I can face tomorrow. No matter what we're going through, we can face tomorrow because Jesus Christ lives and is with us and is present in our midst. Thanks to